Hi guys, it's Marshall from Segway. Today we're going to be taking a look at installing third-party applications onto Lumo. Lumo doesn't have Google Play services, so the way we're going to install third-party applications is using the Android Debug Bridge, ADB. There's a lot of ways to install ADB. Android Studio notably has um, an SDK manager where you can install the platform tools and that will install ADB. I found the easiest way to install ADB without any requirements right off the bat is to install Chocolatey. It's a package manager for command line tools and utilities. So to install Chocolatey, we're going to go ahead and open up a PowerShell terminal. We're going to do this as an administrator. So go ahead and run it as an administrator. Okay, now that we have that open, uh, we're going to go and follow this guide. We're going to copy the text for PowerShell. Right here, we'll copy this command text. Go ahead and paste that into our terminal. Okay. And me show you a different prompt. I've already installed Chocolatey on this machine, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cancel this operation. Uh, after that, we'll go ahead and close this window. We will open up another PowerShell terminal as an administrator. Go ahead and run that. Okay, now we'll install ADB. So we'll do Choco install ADB. Go ahead and click on that. It may show you a different prompt again. I already have Android suit, um, it, sorry, ADB installed, so it may show you something a little bit different. So go ahead and close that window as well. Now, what we do, need to do next is verify that ADB is working. So before we do anything, go ahead and plug in Lumo to your PC. Make sure Lumo is in developer mode and USB debugging is enabled. Uh, what we will do next is open up another PowerShell window. Uh, this time is just a normal user. Okay, and we will verify that ADB is working by launching ADB devices. Okay, this will show us the list of devices connected to our PC. In this case, we only have Lumo connected, so just one device shows up. Okay, now that that's working correctly, uh, we'll go ahead and find an application that we want to install. Uh, for this demo, I'll just install Firefox. Um, Firefox works right off the bat with Lumo. Um, it provides a browser to Lumo. It's very nice to use. Um, there's several websites that host APK files, uh, one of which is APK Mirror. I use Personally, I use it. It's not an endorsement of it, but um, they host the same files that Google Play Store would host and send to your device. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll find the latest version of Firefox. Go ahead and scroll down. Now what we want to do is find the correct architecture for our device. So Lumo uses x86-64 instruction set architecture. So we'll go ahead and get this link. One thing you want to make sure of when downloading an APK is to make sure that the minimum version supported supports at least what Lumo runs on. Lumo runs on Android 5.1.1. So we want to make sure that that's compatible. In this case, it is. So we'll go ahead and click on this. Go ahead and download this link. We'll go ahead and save this file. Okay, make sure that's downloading. I previously downloaded it, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that download. Now what we're going to do is open up another PowerShell instance. So in this case, we can just run it as a normal user. Uh, I have my file saved to my downloads folder. So I'll go ahead and type that in. Type in adb install, followed by, we'll look at what the file name is called. In this case, uh, it starts with org. So we'll go ahead and type in org. And then I don't know the complete name, so what I'll do is press tab, tab to complete the file name, and it shows up as the full file name. I'll go ahead and click install. And so with Lumo connected properly and in uh, in developer mode, this should install correctly. So we'll go ahead and wait for that to install. Okay, and now we'll go over to Lumo and make sure that this installed correctly. Okay, so we've just installed our application onto Lumo using ADB. We're, we're in developer mode. We're gonna go into our app launcher, click on our application we downloaded, in this case, Firefox. And to test that it's working, we can go to any site, run it, and it should work just like it's on any other phone or tablet. And we can see that it does, so. 
Okay guys, that's been how to install a third-party application onto Lumo. Now there's two main reasons an APK may not install or work correctly on Lumo. Number one is if it uses Google Play services, as Lumo does not natively support Google Play services. The other is what we talked about with Firefox in that the minimum version of Android supported must be 5.1.1 or lower as, as Lumo runs on Android 5.1.1.